Hi and welcome back to this uh, markplex.com tutorial where we recreate a uh, markplex version of the three line break chart on an existing chart and just to show you what that looks like it looks something like this. So a few moments ago we, we had just been through the, uh, the program and we had uh, just looked at how these variables are upload uh, are changed when we get to a, a bar where the close is less than the running low so let's just go back and have a look at how that looks like on the chart so the close of this bar is less than the previous running low therefore the new running low is set to the close of this bar the running low last is set to the last running low hence the name and the, uh, the first element of the array is set to the running low last in other words the the last running low and because we use our array stepper the value that used to be last bars 1 is now last bars 2 and uh, you'll see the next bar the close is within this new area here but if we go to the next one and this starts to get a little bit complicated but we've got another bar where the close has gone below the running low of this line so again we, we go through the program Let's just uh, go back to the program and we'll see that we're going to set the new running low, the new running low last. We're going to run the, the array stepper function and then we're going to set a new value for the first element in the last bars array. So if we just go back, we'll see how that looks on the uh, presentation. And this is annotated using Photoshop, by the way, so I'm not sure you could do it exactly like this in TradeStation, but here we have the new running low. Um, the running low last was the last running low, which is also the first element in the array. The second element in the array is what the uh, the first element used to be, and the uh, the third element in the array is now what the um, what the second element used to be. So the uh, the thing there is that if we go back to the program, that we're using a trade station function called extremes array. Uh, as I mentioned and the fact now we're populating this array with values means that this is going to actually find us the highest value of the three that are stored in the array oh and by the way uh, the, the trade station functions ignore the zero value of the array that's why we're using one two and three and this may not necessarily be the most efficient way of programming this but uh, it, it does at least demonstrate the arrays so the, uh, the the question then arises how would we exceed how would we change direction so let's just go back to the program and we'll see that in order to create an up bar the close of or rather an upline the close of a bar has to exceed the the uh, the high of the previous line so if we just go here we'll see that the the close of this bar is 946.75 and that has to exceed this value here which is 746.50 so let's just check that it does that and indeed it does so that's the way that uh, that, that is working please um, if you have uh, questions about this, and I'm sure there are questions, please let me know and I could p potentially record uh, another video uh, just to just to show you. Maybe just useful to have a look down here and just to see. We've had a series of downlines, so in order to get an upline, the close of this bar has to exceed this value here and indeed as you can see the close does slightly go over that value so we start drawing a new line in the other direction oh and by the way the uh, we're also we're not only uh, drawing boxes on the chart we're also plotting and you can see here that we have at the bottom of the chart maybe if I just zoom out a line here which is showing when we're in in positive territory we're drawing we're drawing green lines and uh, we've also got an indicator that shows us where we're going into negative territory and we're starting to draw red lines.
So anyway, uh, please let me know if you have any uh, questions. Please subscribe to the markplex.com email list, which you can find at markplex.com. Uh, I hope you found this useful. I will be posting this indicator on markplex.com, um, and uh, just for a nominal fee, you can uh, download it and use it yourself uh, for whatever you want to use it for. Uh, if you find that useful. Otherwise, I hope this video has uh, explained some useful, easy language techniques that you'll be able to use in your own programming. Thank you very much.